There we go. the weekly tackle tip. The intent is to keep them within two minutes. Stay tuned, subscribe, and thank you so much for the support this far. The butterfly knot, and it's really simple. For demonstration purposes, I took two different colored shoelaces just to provide some contrast. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a loop, the same loop that you would use if you were tying your shoe. Twist one end over the other, pull it through, and do it again. and then you're just gonna pull the knot tight. And make sure you pull both sides with equal amount of pressure, and it should look just like that. You're just gonna repeat that process for every hook that you want. There's one thing to keep in mind when you're tying your branches. You want the V to be pointing towards your rod. It's gonna help prevent your hooks to be tangled. I like to keep my branches as short as possible, no more than two to three inches. Now, what I'm gonna demonstrate here is the knot that I like to use for the hooks. Being in Hawaii, we have a lot of Japanese influence when it comes to our fishing gear. And some of our hooks don't have eyes on them. So, the knot I like to use, it's called the snell knot. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to make a loop, and you're going to put that loop on the shank of the hook. The closed end is going to point towards your main line. You're going to wrap between 5 to 10 times around the shank of your hook. And then you're going to run your tag in through the, the top of that loop. And you're going to pull it tight. And it's a very strong knot. Quick to tie, very simple to remember. 